Hey everybody, this is Paul. Today I'm going to be showing you another important yet simple property of logarithms. And so that property looks like this. If you have a logarithm of any base n, so n can be any number you want it to be, and the argument of the logarithm is equal to 1, then our logarithm is simply equal to 0. So log base 3 of 1 equals 0 log base 5 of 1 equals 0, log of any base you want, any number you choose, that has an argument of 1 is equal to 0. So if we're looking at this function that I've graphed here, y equals log base n of x, then basically it's the same thing as I've written here. This would be our y, and that would be equal to log base n of x. So that's telling us that our x is the 1 and the y is the 0. It's the same thing as I have here. I've just flipped the y on, on the right side and the log base n of x on the left side. And so basically this tells us that we have to go over x units to get a corresponding value of y. So in this case we have to go over one unit in the x direction to get a corresponding y value of 0. So that means that if we go over one unit in the x, we cross right here where our function has a y value of 0. So that's essentially what that means graphically. But I wanted to just kind of show you another thing that uh, is kind of neat. And uh, that's that all of the properties I've showed you work together. So for instance, one of the first properties I showed you was log base n of a times b. And I told you that that was equal to log base n of a plus log base n of b. And I'm going to illustrate that this holds for this property by just doing a simple demonstration. So for instance, we have, let's say we have log base n of 3. 3 is the same thing as 3 times 1. So we could rewrite this as log base n of 3 times 1, since 3 times 1 equals 3. And now we have our a and our b here. Our a is 3, our b is 1. So let's go ahead and split this apart. Log base n of a is our 3, plus log base n of b, which would be our 1. So by using this property here, we're saying that log base n of 3 times 1 is equal to log base n of 3 plus log base n of 1. And then from this property here, we know that log base n of 1 is equal to 0. So really, this goes takes us right back to, this goes to 0. So this takes us right back to log base n of 3 times 1 is equal to log base n of 3. So I just wanted to show that to you so that you could see that all these properties that I'm showing you, if you put them back in together and mix them up, um, the properties still hold. So this didn't change anything, this didn't falsify any values. So the fact that log base n of 1 equals 0 holds for any of the uh, properties that I've showed you so far. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, hopefully that uh, makes a few things click for you. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for some more episodes. And uh, you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe.